Hello everyone, so today's video is going to be a what's in my makeup bag video. I've done one like this um, I think about a year ago but the lighting was really bad so I decided to delete that video and I thought why not make one right now because I want to share with you guys what I carry with me every single day to work or just basically every day when I carry my bag I take this with me. The only two things that I usually change every so often is lipsticks and blush. I like to play with it uh, but besides that I always carry the same item. So this bag is from um, Soap and & Glory and I've been using it for over a year. It's a little bit dirty and I need to find a way to clean it because I don't think I can put it in my washing machine. So I'm gonna open the bag and as you guys can see it's quite full and randomly I'm going to take products out and give you like mini reviews or tell you how much I like them. Um, so I'm going to start with my Shine Control Papers Instant Matte Finish. These ones are from Superdrug and I love them because these little sheets, just one of them, will make my whole face matte. Um, basically absorb all the oil that I have and keep my, my face matte. So I only have to powder my face once. Um, after I applied my foundation in the morning. So probably after maybe seven hours, that's when I'm going to powder my face. So I love them. Next, I have a blush and this one is from Milani and it's called Luminoso. And I love this blush. I've been wearing it a lot recently. Um, and when I have it in my bag, I always want to retouch my face with it because I absolutely love it. I would highly recommend if you don't have this you need to get it because it's a perfect blush for every day just a perfect peach with a little bit of gold tones into it um, next I have a, a blush brush and this one is from Sigma and it's the F10 and this is the brush that I carry every day with me to retouch my uh, blush love it um, the only downside about this brush is that it does shed there you go one hair is out uh, but besides that it applies blush really well Oh, next I have another blush brush and this one is from Real Techniques. I went blank there. And this one I actually don't use it for uh, blush. I use it for powder because I like it. It's very, very, very soft and it disperses the powder really well. So I love this. I carry it with me all the time. Next I have a concealer and it's going to be the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer which I have spoken about in my favorites videos and I really like this concealer. I will be doing a review and demonstration of how it looks on the skin. If you guys are interested in that, please comment below. But I really like it. I think it's a great drugstore concealer. Uh, next, I have a lip product and this one is a soft matte lip cream by NYX. I've done a review on this. These, I have four and this one is basically my favorite. I am wearing it today. It's like a um, your lip better, if that makes sense. Um, it's matte. I just wish it was a little bit more moisturizing, but besides that, I love it. I've been wearing it the whole week. As I said in the beginning, I do change lipsticks, but I've been really enjoying this one. I can see myself wearing it for longer than a week. Next, I have a new product. Uh, well, that's my last mascara that I bought and it's by Maybelline and it's the Colossal Volume Express in Waterproof. And I've been really enjoying this mascara, uh, especially because when I apply it on my lower lashes, it doesn't smudge. And I have an issue with mascaras that say they're waterproof and all of a sudden I have, you know, the panda eyes, but this mascara doesn't give that to me. So I really like it. Um, don't like it as much as the falsies, but I like it. Uh, next, I have a powder foundation, and this one is from Bobbi Brown, and it's called the Illuminating Finish Powder Compact Foundation with SPF 12, and I'm in 4.5 Warm Natural, in case you guys are wondering, and I wear this um, a lot. Um, it has a huge mirror, and oh please, don't judge, don't judge, don't judge my sponge, oops. Don't judge my sponge. It is dirty. I wash it every three days. I use it once um, a day, like just to retouch my foundation um, at the end of the day. And by the fourth day, I wash it. So please don't judge. But I love this foundation. It's great for oily skin. Um, so if you guys want a review on this, please let me know. I will do it for you guys. Next, I have another concealer. And this is a new addition to my beauty 
collection and it's by Maybelline and it's called the Instant Anti-Age The Eraser Eye Perfect and Cover Concealer. I know in America it's called completely different. I think it's the Age Rewind Concealer or something over here. Once again, they named it completely different, but I really like this. Um, it does a really good job and I think this color is nude. Don't know which color would that be in the States, but over here it's called nude and I love it. Next, I have a lip balm, which is by Vaseline with aloe vera. And I've been using this product for years. Um, sometimes I buy this one, sometimes I buy it in a different color, but I love it. It's the best thing ever to moisturize your lips. And I do it at night. I apply it at night and I do it in the morning before my lipsticks. And I love it. I would highly recommend, especially if you can get it at Primark because you can only um, at Primark, you only pay a pound, and if you buy it somewhere else, it's nearly two pounds. So there's a huge difference. Um, next, I have a powder which is by Maybelline, and it's the Dream Matte Powder, which I have done a review on. So I'll link it below for you guys. I have been using this a lot instead of my Rimmel Stay Matte. I love them both, but at this present moment, I really like this one because I find that it doesn't make me look cakey, even though if I put a lot, I don't have that cake face. So I really like that about this review. I'll link it below. And the last item in my bag is my Kabuki brush from Real Techniques, which I carry with me as well um, because it's very tiny, compact. And what I like about this brush is that you can open it like that and you can apply maybe highlighter or you can just sweep your powder all over your face quicker and I really like it. I highly recommend this little kabuki brush. So my bag is now completely empty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.